Hi everybody, Dr. Modi Charter back again for another hoot. The breeding season is winding down. Luckily the war between Israel and Iran has finished for now. Hopefully that'll be the end of that. No more running the bond shelters. Uh, the war has not been easy. It's been a bit difficult, uh, but we went through it, passed it. So our barn owl and uh, Israel barn owl Ram On Kim fledged. Uh, and he's smart. He's not sleeping in the box during the daytime. It's hot. He probably has a roof with shade. Uh, pigeon. We have a pigeon hatching. One pigeon box is down. We have lots of cameras that are down. Hopefully I'll be able to fix them on Sunday. Apologize about that. With The whole war has been uh, very complicated. Uh, if you're not subscribed to this channel, just please subscribe. So let's get into it. So unfortunately this week has been a crazy week as you can hear now. Living through the war with all the sirens and all these things have been really, really difficult. You know, not for, only for us humans, but as you can imagine, for the animals, the wildlife that you can get to see in the cameras, but also our dogs and cats. Luckily in Israel, Barnal Ramon Cam, the nestling has been doing great. First and foremost, he's been feeding, fed extremely well. Just one nestling, so parents were able to feed themselves in the nestling. Uh, he practiced this week a lot, pouncing, wing exercising. This is his time where he can build up all his muscles before he'll have to fledge. And the parents just did a great job. Look at here, he's a little bit overly excited when grabbing the prey. Look at here, pouncing, jumping. Uh, during this time, they practice all the things, all the skills they need to survive afterwards. Uh, and he did a great job, a really cute little guy swallowing the prey. A lot of times he like, would like to play, play with the prey first, which is very common. Um, and the parents did an excellent job. I mean, remember in the beginning, uh, we had all the problems with the parents not bringing enough of the food. At the end now, they got down to that one nestling. They're doing an amazing job. Look at that happy feet just flapping around. What a cutie. And he did uh, this week leave the box, go, went on the porch, uh, and almost fell. Uh -huh. There's a very common thing. A lot of them fall and then uh, ultimately make it back. Uh, he's large enough. And look at the wing exercise and just building up those muscles. Um, he, at this point, looks like almost a full-grown owl. Even though if you, when you look very close, you can see that he still has uh, the feathers of, of a fledgling He's, what a beautiful little guy. And the fact that he's by himself made it a lot easier for him to do all these wing exercises and stuff. And yes, yes, he fledged, uh, left, flew, and was able to come back. So at this point of now, you can see, come and watch him at nighttime. He's not sleeping in the box during the daytime. Uh, smart enough, so keep an eye out for him. In Barnell, Florida, cam number one, this is a pier. Uh, I don't know if it's the same peer as before or a new peer. There's lots of excitement that the behavior is very much like a new peer, but it may be the old peer that the, the, the male gets extremely overly excited when the female comes. Uh, initially, it was a little bit of aggressive, you know, jumping and all of that. Um, but before you know it, from that uh, jumping more aggressive, overexcited, uh, they eventually will go into the poochie moochie. Uh, look at that. Wow, these guys are just so cute. Lots of noise, lots of communication. That noise is heard by other barn owls. They're letting them know that there's a pier here. Here directly going into the poochie moochie. The kissing, the preening. These are all different things that help keep this pier bond strong. Uh, really, look at, look at this. I mean, this is the ultimate, you know, happy feet there. Just super, super excited, this guy. Um... Uh, in this case, actually, the, the female, really, really excited. So this, this pair bonding is very important. They're probably not going to lay soon, but they'll lay in the end of the summer, maybe early fall, hopefully. Uh, barn owls courting is a beautiful thing to see. I mean, look at that. You're getting a little bit over aggressive. Uh, but these guys are just uh, real. This pair is a beautiful pair. It's such an entertaining thing to watch how they court when there's no nestlings and all the attention is to one another. There you go into the poochie moochie, the preening, the, each other's feathers, uh, taking the time to invest energy in, in 
during the courtship period shows each other that they'll make a good pair when there's nestling, nestlings. That they dedicate the time and energy to find food. So this is exactly what the pair bonding is. Um, really, really great to see. In Barnow, Florida, camp number two, there's also pier a little bit less active, but they're there. So get it, go in and watch that camera also. In uh, Common Kestrel camera number one, we had a hatching today. First nestling hatched. The second one should hatch today or tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully the miners will not come back. But to remind you, the last breeding, this is actually the fourth breeding, uh, was predated by Mina. In Israel Bonal Cam number one, there's a pigeon pair um, grooming and preening each other. So um, hopefully they'll probably lay soon now that there's uh, no barn owls around. Um, but we'll see sooner than later. In Griffin Vulture Cam, the handicapped, beautiful handicapped Griffin Vulture that we saw with the uh, sirens and the explosions in the beginning, the nestling's doing really well, doing also wing. Uh, exercises. His wings are obviously way larger, longer than the barn owls. Really, really cute little guy. Uh, at some point he'll start leaving the nest and he'll stay around in the area and he'll join the wild vultures in the area. There's my dog Puffy barking, not happy about something. But going to this camera, really fun watching him uh, wing uh, exercising and everything. Really cute. So I hope you like this video. Uh, as the weeks go on, there'll be less to see. This is the reality of uh, breeding birds. Uh, but before we know it, we'll have breeding pairs again in Florida, hopefully, maybe in both, both of the boxes, which would be great. I want to thank everybody for your participation, watching the, the channels, writing the timestamps, the moderators, you guys are the best, in particular during this whole crazy war that we have been here at least have been less available. You guys have been the best. Uh, if you like this content and would like to help out, I put a link in the description where you can donate. Thank you very much for all the people that donated. So if don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, keep on watching. Hooch you later.